Okay, good. It's recording. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how to make a anime color over using Pitzler.com. And, um, so, first off, you can either open an image from URL, or from, from a URL, or you can open an image from your computer. I'm gonna open one with my computer. Now, I'm gonna go full screen here. There we go. Okay. So, first off, what you want to do is go here, toggle image layer settings, or toggle layer settings, my bad, and open a new layer. Now, you could use the magic wand tool, but I don't really like using it because it kind of takes up time, and when you use it, it kind of... Um, doesn't really color in some of the spots. But whatever, I'll use it, I guess. Um, um you don't want to color in on the background, because if you don't, if you make a mistake and erase it, you'll erase the whole image. Okay, now, got to erase these little particle bits. Oops, scroll down a bit too much. I'll just edit those parts out after. So, now, I'm gonna, now, this is gonna make it way easier on me. So, what you'll want to do is select your color, um, You can change the color later after, or later, as well, if you don't want that color. Why are you late in computer? Now, if you were to do this without using the magic wand tool, it would take up a lot more time. Um, now, what you want to do is, since you can't really see, go to hard light, and you can see it. That's what you would do if you were not using the magic wand tool. And you can see it. That's what you would do if you were not using the magic wand tool. Now. There we go. Now let's color in the parts that we didn't get to. Shall we? Oh wait, a little bit too far up. Or, I mean down.
I'm afraid I don't. This is a, now usually when I use the magic wand tool, um, what happens is some of the areas don't get colored in all the way, even though it's um. Um, how do I put this? Even though it doesn't have the, the, um, uh, little line pins on it, some of the parts don't get colored in all the way. And I don't like that. Which is why I barely ever use this. See, right here, for instance. Oops. I messed up again. There we go. Damn it, there's still parts there. Eh. I'll fix that later. There we go. Okay. Now, what you want to do, um, turn your opacity all the way up. Go to adjustment, hue and saturation. Now, here you can change the hair color.
or change the lightness. And then you know to file and save it. Oh, was it 19? Okay, no, it was, I guess it was 20 then. There we go. Now, I'm going to show you the picture that I made for the first video. Found it. This is it. It took me half an hour, combined with letting the dots in and out. And I also, I kind of saved two versions of them, because one of them I thought I really liked. Where did my mouse go? Oh, what the hell? Oh, I hate it when my mouse does that. It was on the stream, but you didn't see it. Stop doing that. Jeez. Okay, um. Um, where? Ah, uh, found it. Here it is. And it's basically a picture of, um, one of my first color overs. Which I will find. On my Facebook, um, I don't remember. Bunch of anime color overs that I made. Uh, here's one of them. It's not the first one that I did, though. Stop! Kind of looks similar. Hair color's a bit off. Um, where's the first one I made? Wait, was it in my timeline photos? It probably was. Knowing me. Okay, where is it? Uh, here's one. Again, looks pretty similar. Um, this one I made, like, last year during class. It's pretty. I didn't even have an hour. Found it! But, yeah.